Welcome to today's more report on Wednesday the 9th of November with me Richard Perry, market analyst at Hantech Markets. We have a new president and it's not what the market had been anticipating. Uh, Donald Trump has been elected US president and um, risk appetite has taken a sharp dive. Um, this is unexpected and pretty much ranks alongside Brexit, I think, um, in terms of the market surprise. Um, although the reactions that we've seen on markets has not um, have not as yet been as significant as Brexit, but certainly um, this is a big big shock to markets. Um, we've had the um, the sort of general sentiment change that has impacted through so the dollar. The dollar has been sharply sold off, although it has unwound quite considerably. Now, the initial reaction was um, selling pressure through the dollar, um, risk appetite falling, safe havens benefiting, equity markets, for example, sharply lower. But that has unwound slightly on the back of this um, uh, acceptance speech by Donald Trump, in which he was fairly conciliatory, actually. He was um, sort of talking about um, being um, sort of one America and uh, sort of governing for the whole country, and which I suppose is, is fairly fairly sort of sensible rhetoric anyway, but um, also talking about a lot of um, fiscal spending, a lot of um, infrastructure spending. So that um, sort of ten has tended to sort of settle nerves to a certain extent and the dollar has sort of come back a, a significant away on the back of that. Now, not only that, we've seen the US Treasuries, which sharply were lower on the 10-year, but that has completely and utterly unwound now. The US Treasury is actually up on the day on the 10-year. Now, the two-year is, well, again was sharply lower, but is sort of as, again has unwound but the steepening of the yield curve with the 2s 10 spread sort of continuing to climb suggests that that is a sort of positive for growth I suppose uh, hence them um, coming through that uh, fiscal spending but also what the impact it would do to the Fed potential for a uh, rate hike in December um, expectations of a rate hike have dramatically fallen actually uh, to around about 50-50 now um, for December so um, will the Fed now go ahead with its rate hike or can it go ahead with its rate hike considering what uh, um, a Trump presidency might mean so really um, interesting questions being posed more questions than answers I think um, in terms of volatility again equity markets uh, volatility sharply higher uh, initially on the vi on the VIX but um, unwinding slightly so um, lots of uh, interesting moves that we are seeing on these markets today um, for example on, on the forex markets euro and sterling and um, were strongly higher uh, early doors but have almost entirely unwound that foot uh, sterling's only sort of 20 pips up on the day now and i'll sort of focus on that in my chart analysis in a bit but certainly really interesting moves and um, the yen is still remains the standout performer um, of the moves other markets gold for example also um has unwound early gains so and i'm going to talk through all these um all these markets in a bit as i go through my charts but some um, really interesting moves now in terms of what we've got to look forward to today not a great deal um on the agenda and to be honest it would probably uh, it's unlikely to do anything really to change market sentiment or certainly the uk trade balance at um at 9 30 11.2 million sorry 11.2 billion um, negative on the trade balance, not going to do a great deal. Um, you've got the EIA oil inventories, which are actually expected to be about um, 1.4 uh, million barrels of build. Um, and then later on, we've got um, at uh, 8 o'clock this evening, UK time, you've got the R um, RBNZ with its uh, monetary policy decision, actually expected to cut interest rates by 25 basis points so you could have a bit of chop around on the uh, on the kiwi tonight but um, certainly at the moment the uh, the dollar is the main driver in town so that takes me to my chart today which is the euro yen and euro yen i, I had been pr sort of pre preparing for a big breakout to the upside sort of been rallying towards 116 I thought a Clinton victory was what we were going to get and that would burst it through the upside but in the event we've had a Trump victory and that's uh, driven a safe haven flow to the yen and subsequently dolly um, euro yen has sharply fallen but not an enormous amount and you would argue still that um, having broken out above that uh, downtrend that's been in place throughout this year that downtrend has continued once again to play a role as the basis of support, as it did last week. So that um, that held, and um, between 113.70 and 114 figure, there is now a band of support, as you can see on the hourly chart, which uh, has been a bit pivotal, isn't it? 114. 
So arguably, you'd say that's really holding. So it's very interesting to see what happens now with this support. I think this is the key level you need to look out for. Um, you've just started to see the yen strengthening against the euro again. Um, and the near-term outlook would still be negative on euro yen. However, that key support band around 114, which is that pivot, I think um, will be very much watched in the coming days. And if that is a that could be a gauge for euro yen as a as a whole. If you sort of break below 114, I think you're going to sort of drift back towards the range lows around 112. So um, you look at these momentum indicators; they're fairly neutral, aren't they? Stochastic still reasonably positive though. MACD lines marginally positive, but RSI sort of draw, dropping back towards 50. Again, a move below 50 would be negative. So this is all sort of, um, this could be a, a fairly interesting barometer for market sentiment generally, because obviously the yen is a, a key risk trade or risk on, risk off trade. And uh, euro also um, will be interesting. So I think euro yen could be a key barometer, but around 114, I'll be watching that. And uh, if it holds above that, then you could still see risk relatively positive. Uh, in the reaction to the Trump uh, victory. So I wish you good luck in your trading today and I'll speak to you later. Thank you.